Switch as my feet can carry me. See me? Blood comes easy these days. I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon.
Watch your back. Someone there. <laughs> Easy. No time to rest. Did you go for a swim earlier? Nah, don't know how to swim. Uh, must have been some other oozing, stinking lump floating down the stream. Worry of Mother Gith. Tell me you've taken the Orphic Hammer. Kithrak Foss. 
May the astral sea be still as you cross it. And may your mind be of steel so your blade may be of silver to Lakmagir. Have you retrieved the Orphic Hammer? Will our prince's chains finally be broken? Then I will wait here until you have. The chains that bind Orpheus also bind the whole of the Githyanki people. The remaining honor guard serve as my eyes and ears. Vlakith's forces hunt you and the prism. My allies have slayed more than you know, so that you might travel freely. As for those that break through, you've proven more than capable of bleeding them yourself. to be doing wizard told us to watch for troublemakers but we are troublemakers what's this cousin another absolutist come to see what we did to poor old Sarin. your god took her mind cultist so bereki took her head and i burned the flesh from her bones and now you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I... Yes, cousin. An excellent idea. Cousin says we will take you in return. He says you look just like kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. took my friend's life, but only after your god took her soul. Sarin Bereki and I, we were the three finest thieves in Baldur's Gate. We broke into the offices of Gortash, discovered he was with the Absolute too. Your fellow cultists hunted us, so we hid down here. We were safe, and so was our loot. Until the darkness soured Sarin's mind. She kept our treasure from us. Said Bereki and I had gone strange. Hush, cousin. Sarin turned into a cultist herself, so we did what we had to. Bereki wept until his voice was gone, and then he was gone too leaving only me to conduct Sarin's rites. And my cousins here. You cannot conduct the rites without a clan to bear witness. Or some fuel for the fire. She was no cultist, but you all lie. The absolute turns you. I don't know. I don't know. Pass then, and do not come back. This is Sarin's final resting place, and a killing ground for all who come to disturb.
No, dear reader. I'm afraid one of my columns is not in the latest issue. Stop, bit. The army of the absolute can't be more than a few days away. Greetings, child of faith. Be welcome to the Stormshore Tabernacle. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? Here, clerics may commune with their gods, and even hear their responses, if they are so favored. I am also granted the power to provide holy resurrection through sales of revivification scrolls. Of course, my child. Within limits. Look who you got. Look who you limits. got here, buddy. That's right. That's a lot of money. What did he tell you shit? Welcome. You have come far, I perceive. Of course, my child. Within limits. Behold my face. you. Mm. Who do I have? Oi! We got rats in cellar. We also got cats, but cats are useless. So how about you kill the rats? You did? Very clever. Good job. Yes. Here, you take this. Okay. I'll talk to you real quick, dude. Hi. You already got paid. No more work here. Plenty of rats elsewhere in the city. Go kill those. Rats. Murderers. Always knew the chef gig wasn't going to be easy. Do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept peeled for murdering types. No, oh, he's gonna die. Uh, I'll keep traveling. There's no one here with. Uh, Dragged in. Can't believe we both made it to the city and with our limbs attached. We did, didn't we? Never thought I'd begrudge being alive. Alas, I've got nothing in my pockets but lint and disappointment. If I could summon coppers with my mind, I wouldn't be working in a tavern. Now would I? So how about this? Alan puts swill in the bottles, but I know where he keeps the good stuff. Here. You saw nothing. You heard nothing. I need to get back to work before Alan throws a fit. But stick around. You brighten the place up. 
What did you give me? Smart stuff. I'm Willoughby, the comedian. And we got a little contest here called the Laugh Riot. You wanna play along? Uh. Great! I'll go first to show you how it's done, and then you can see if you can top me. Hello, Baldarians! You know, I wouldn't be here tonight. Except my wife ran off with a cambium. That's right. I got fiend zoned. Oh hell, I'm not doing a fucking bad job. Get the Your shit out of here. You're doing smart stuff. Knock them dead. No. But not literally. Why do I leave? Got me? Adequate. A first. A... A... Sorry, smart. I'm not doing this shit. You guys can't write no jokes. Rising. Oh, it's okay. clear enough. Man, how do you see through the wall? I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzli, and I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. Looking for high poison. I must say. A practical joke, it's not very amusing. Why, a serial killer? Oh, that's terrible. Master Metzley, are you quite all right? It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You have sullied it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face. And I will peel it from your skull, should you interfere again. Oh, shit. Oh, um, let's see. Who behind? It's really not that good, huh? Mm.
Still can't believe. Why would anyone want to kill me? Thank you for saving us. No problem, Ted. Can't believe what that horrid man wanted What's to do. Story? Why is that just still highlighted? Shut up. Hi, Barry. I can do that too. Don't spend your gold in there. Clank. Let me back in. I'll bring the Rowakin out here, yet sin tube. You tell the Rowakin I went for his goddamn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? Shit, it's you. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. An Asima? Hells, if I'd known, I'd have asked for more gold. Kidnapping costs more than theft. Don't forget, I'm the one who gave you that contract. I want my cut. Good luck getting a blue copper out of Laroa Kid. Guy's tighter than a black nosed sheep. You get that money, you come find me. Wait, does that mean looking for you? He fucks sheep? Oh, what kind of nasty? What a nasty man. Can I talk to this Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. This armor is a construct animated by powerful magic. 
It has no soul or power of speech, but it follows the directives of its monster. It feels no pain and knows no morality. It will act on behalf of its master. Any one of them. perish when the magic that binds it is severed. doing here? This is, uh, my apprenticeship. It has not been what I expected. Master Laroican is... Um, a difficult man. <laughs> He's consumed by his pursuit ah, of the night song. He beats the fuck out of you. <laughs> learned a thing, and I fear it'll stay that way. <clears throat> But never mind that. What can I do for you? It's all I deal with these days. People claiming their trinkets are the real night song. Looking for the mountain of gold the rower can promise. There's even a pamphlet. Take one. They're on the desk. I suppose that's at least I can. Oh, damn. What's this thing? Oh. I mean, like you. What about this one? Oh, okay, what am I? What about this one? What does this one do? Damn, that's a lot. No, these are both not bad, but that one's kind of expensive, though. Hmm. Hmm. Should I buy it? Should I buy it? Hmm. Hmm. Hope you found what you're looking for. Where is it? I think it's very funny. Where's anybody? Where's your ball? And I'm wrong. Where have Janet been? Where's that rat? Where's my outfit? Okay. Let's take a look bigger. Let's try it. I'll see if here. That's a bit more shopping to do. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. If you have information about the night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. No! Shit. He dead. Uh, 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 uh. Hold very still, Nicola. Uh, Craig's aim is much improved, but uh, still leave something up to chance. Yes, sir. You can't die. All right, crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Hmm. We have a visitor. At ease. McClaw, you may go. I see no night song. 
Surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand? Surely you wouldn't have wasted my time? And you must have an answer to my request. If you want to keep your head, of course. <laughs> the night song. Do you have it or not? She? Then you do know her. You've been to Shah's temple. To the Shadowfell. You've looked upon the Night Song's face. Tell me, and choose your next words carefully. Where is she now? I'm growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. A wand? Beautiful. Isn't it? Worth more than your life, too. I bought it from a Kalashite warlock. Very little of his soul left to him. Hmm. It can bind a celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. And this? This can keep her in place. Forever. Hmm. We shall see, won't we? Do as I say, and you will be rewarded beyond imagination. Fail, and you give up the prize to the next motivated mercenary to encounter my contract. The choice is yours, but make no mistake, I always get what I want. Hmm. Okay. We'll talk to a night song. The night song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. I don't think she's worried. Of course she's here. She's hot. There she is. Oh, bitch. Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? Let them come and let them find me. Dame Aelin will strike down any who seek to bring her to harm's own. Yet, it is better to cut off the head of the snake than to let its slithering snakeling swarm us unabated. This wizard, this wizard, must be held to account. I will wring his neck until he's dead.
It is he who must not pursue me. Let us travel to his chambers, his lair. We will see him undone in the style of the dead, unburied Ketherick Thorn. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite Enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hie we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. Alright, alright. Um... Yeah, Miss Fred. They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves. Whoa, whoa, why did I make it? Without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup. Should you wish to experience it for yourself. My beloved confidant and loyal companion rascal. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillman. A story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. I have learned to adapt my methods to your needs. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together, but few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to, to convince you. I studied you, your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. That you are complex and full of contradictions. It was no easy task. But I had to persist. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how reasonable you would be. You don't like to be coddled, cajoled. But you responded well to logic, to rational arguments, to cold, hard facts. You saw straight to the core of what really mattered. Now's not the time. 
So Look for you, Shaw Fight? Hell no. Let's move on to more important things. You ugly as shit. Beyond the brain's hide mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hide mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. We must stop it while we still can, before we too become its slaves. Okay, well, strong fuck, man. I'm not playing none of that shit. What have we here? A magician in a tower, hiding away from the frightening world. What are you so scared of, Magus? Not the Night Song, surely? Why, she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. My God. The Night Song is a person. At last. There you are, my dear. You will address me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin. And you are a whelp without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. Oh, my apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant no disrespect. I asked our mutual friend here to make an introduction that I might get to meet the famed daughter of Saluna. Forgive me for that impudence. Perhaps our friend can bridge the gap and do what I believe they came here to do? My steel-hearted friend speaks true. Give me one good reason, Magus, why I should not strike you down where you stand. Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts. Honor her by sharing yours. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years! You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. A pity you didn't prove a more reliable ally. You could have reaped the rewards of my good favor. I'd hoped you to keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. Boy, at the ready. Once I've taken control of the Asimar, she must go directly into the caging rooms. No, Master Lorakan. I would never have assisted you if I knew you planned such horrors. You lied to get the Night Song here. Made us all believe she was nothing but a relic. I have seen what true leadership can accomplish. 
but never under your tutelage. Put your tongue, you child. I could make it such that no wizard in the realm will touch you. If they're all like you, I think that sounds like an excellent bargain. <laughs> oh, face us, charlatan! We who detest you so! Mamadons! Imperatum! <laughs> Can you this guy? Come on, buddy. Can I fight this guy? Nope. You mean patching up? Take your hands. Um.
Pussy. How do I think I think that guy? Oh, man. Oh, man. Roican, you who would see me caged, you who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked make us, every button picks a fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. What? What happened? Oh my god, Roland. Delicious. Why would you do this? God damn it. Blood comes easy these days. Can't be about it. Chose wrong, Roland. Uh, that helped. The firehead fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel sadness. Why? Gripping in the chest, as though I'd lost someone. Something. Uh, uh, Paladin's fatigue, no doubt. You were excellent in battle, as is your way. And I am proud to fight at your side. I will catch my breath, then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. Oh, Roland, you idiot. I don't know why. 
much. What do you want? would lack the skill to curate. Between us, even Master Lerokin was reluctant to house them in his tower. The pen is mightier than the magic wand, apparently. <laughs> They're locked away here for their and our customers' safety. Our finest reserve includes the Tharkian Codex, the Annals of Cassius and Netherese Folly, Sights of the Sealy, and the curriculum of strategy. Do any of those interest you? You've heard about the Red Knight, I trust? Devout strategist made exarch of Tempest. This treaty is a compilation of her own design. Here on the material plane for the benefit of us mortals. Quite rare. Oh. Did I am an unperson. The Roican's illusion is blissfully unaware of its cost. To browse our wares, if you are a city official here to collect dues, say taxes. For all other inquiries, say other. You are not Mr. Marvin Hyde, the collections officer assigned to this establishment. Come on, come on, give that money. Logic detected. Petition approved. How else can I help you today? Feast your eyes. Mm. Please come again. Danced until he has somewhat eight. Let alone found his four.
tempers are rising. Get out of our alley. Go on, before I might you. Hmm. Oh, what a delightfully secluded alley. I would have been in my element here once. But you consort with a better class of people now, right? A different class of person. And a different type of consorting. Let's I'm just stop this ask. conversation right here, shall we? No, no, no. you mustn't. Someone there. <laughs> Easy. God, what a mess. a lot on my mind and well in it Don't touch me. Oh, no. I can put it 
this hand up there. Well, which one? This one? Okay. Well, this armor I got, where's it at? It's not this one. No. Where's the armor at? Looking ahead. I don't like how these stairs lit up. She's gone to pot ever since I left. I will cure you of your pestilence. You have my word. What am I supposed to do then? Miscreants creeping around? A sting like death itself? Only in the face of mouth to death. I think we've seen a few things yet. It's always messy. Just like old times.
Are you serious? Nothing will stand in my way. <laughs> I will ascend. Let my name be known. <laughs> Cutting those creatures down. Truly. Oh, gods know what would have happened if you weren't here. What are these things? God. Oh, I saw you fighting those monsters. You were magnificent. Guts all over my boat. Battle has taken its toll. Thought I'd be used to the smell of fish by now. Not that smell. Yeah. I think I might have had my fill of fish for the next few ten days. Alan Lee thinks lying around is bad for business. Thanks again for dealing with those so wagon. You saved more than just my livelihood. Fish mainly. The flaming fast common dare the best of, but I can show you what I got. Watch yourself, eh? God's willing. Oh, please. Distinct whiff of undeath to this place. <laughs> Curious. I can't say I've ever noticed the same about you, Astarian. Uh, my whiff is very faint, thank you. Nothing a little bergamot, rosemary, anything to be can't hide. It's the perfect olfactory disguise for a corpse. Honestly, I miss my calling as a perfume. Clearly thought this through a great deal. I'm impressed and appalled at the measure. You do not have 
an appointment. What possible reason could you have to enter the presence of Mystic Carrion? A naive interpretation of the forces at work beyond your perception. No wonder you sought a hand like mine to lead you through the darkness. I am a spirit, Mediham. One who wanders the hazy boundaries of mortality, bearing the intentions of the living and the knowledge. You do not possess the aptitude to attempt such a journey. Nor are you the caliber of client I would usually offer to escort. My name is known to those who matter. So is my discretion. The living hold such superstition about communing with the dead. As such, my patrons prefer to use my services in the strictest confidence. Assistant, Thrumbo. A conduit I used to maintain my connections with the ethereal plane. Unfortunately, he has deserted his duties. He has not gone far, but given the sensitivity of his nature, I would prefer that he is not free to roam the city. Return Thrumbo's body to me. And I will see that you are suitably compensated. I am more than an item, perhaps. One that resonates with your spiritual energies. The spirits. Will help me decide once the task is before. First, you must bring me back Thrumbo's body. Had I thought you were the type to shout his name, Fro Thrumbo is not alone in his ingratitude. He has led others in my service astray. Three of them, beggars and zombies alike. The others lack even Thrombo's modicum of intelligence. It should be no great task to wring his location from one of them. Then, with the spirits here in our witnesses, the arrangement is made. They will follow your progress with great interest. As will I. What now? Should be easy. No one back home will ever believe this.
not allowed up. Not go up. Yeah, it's vision going down. Hold your ass down, homie. Let's go over here and fuck it. Let's go over here and fuck it. I welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be, and shop with glee. A most excellent decision. Coin and tie. Head. A lot of effort for a piece of window dressing. Gazette has a transcript of a conversation with Archduke Gortash. What's he got to say? steal by the light of day in his name. You are our lamb, ready for slaughter. Lady Orin asked us to test you, but I think you'll fail. What say you, little lamb? Them. 
get out. way. Sounds like fun. Man, what kind of shit? This fucking pussy ass bitch. What a bitch. Reinforcements.
Must be quick. This mind is small, fragile. Listen now. Entering her mind is like stepping aboard a sinking ship. The architecture of her consciousness buckles and collapses. Thoughts yield to a flood of overwhelming power. The elder brain. Do not waste time. This mind cannot bear us. It turns to liquid. Listen. Just listen. We learn. We grow. Loosen our clumsy bindings. Aid us. Necromancer, dead. Changeling and tyrant remain at odds. Kill them. You have a place in my grand design. The brain seized control with the smallest of efforts. Its power must not be underestimated. What? Oh. What happened? What? I died hastily. Okay, okay, okay. Still alive, so that's progress. I kind of like this one too. That's kind of nasty. Yeah, I like this one too. Hmm. What's the one out here? This one's kind of scary too. This one.
Yes. 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 Yes.